build a shoe line around just him. I need the greatest basketball shoe that's ever been made. Who's the player? Michael Jordan. Oh, so good. Little know the story behind one of the most successful shoe lines of all time. Air Jordan. In the new movie Air, we see the genesis of the iconic brand and the people who helped make it a reality. One of those people, George Raveling, played by Marlon Wayans, was instrumental in connecting Michael Jordan to Nike. Now, I sat down with Marlon where he opened up about the honor of playing George and how he himself is not a stranger to legacy. Watch. People don't know what the hell a Nike is. What's a Converse? NBA All-Star shoe. There's nothing cool about Nike. You would have to have a pretty compelling pitch. I can tell them the one thing the other companies can't compete with. Our basketball division is terrible. I do not love it. Marlon. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. I'm living. I know. This We're is quite, quite a view in Miami. I'm trying, trying, if I talk fast, it says I want to hurry up and jump in the ocean. <laughs> the water's pretty nice here. Yeah. How excited were you to bring to life the character of, or the real life person, George Raveling, who was essentially pivotal in Michael's connection to Nike? I love the, I love the, the scene. I love, I love the fact that he had, the, I had a dream speech and he owned it. I, I loved uh, just the quality of the character and what he meant to Michael and what he meant to the family and what he meant to the deal. And that he and Sonny were such best friends that he could give it to him real. And, um, I just felt like there's no such thing as small parts, only small actors. And this part, although it's small in time, is it's big in impact. And so um, I, I, it was something I wanted to do. My name's Sonny Vaccaro, I'm with Nike. Do you typically make it a habit of showing up at people's front doors unannounced? I don't like to take no for an answer. Oh, man. I mean, it's a completely important part of the, the whole story. We see it come full circle in the movie. I have to know, though, I mean, this cast is incredible. Yourself, Viola, Jason Bateman, Matt Damon, Ben. Did Ben invite you out to Dunkin' Donuts and coffee and say, hey, Marlon, do you want to be in this movie? I mean, it's incredible. I wish he did spend some money on me. He just, I was a, I was a real cheap date. He just called me on my, my phone and uh, gave me a 45 minute talk about the character and how he wanted me in a movie and what he felt the, the I was just like, Jeff, Ben, okay, okay. You had me at hello. Right. Dude, you're Ben Affleck. I saw Argo, I'm in. I don't care what you film. So um, yeah, it was, a, I, it was a lot of fun working with those guys. For a rookie yes. who's never set foot on an NBA court. That's the literal definition of rookie, yeah. This movie touches on themes of legacy and taking a chance on people. Your family has done that. You yeah. guys have left an indelible mark on Hollywood with, with everything that you've brought to the table, in addition to launching the careers of some of the biggest stars on the planet. When you hear that, what do you say to yourself? It's not over yet. That's just like the first, first, uh, first act. There's a whole other movie that's about to happen. So for us, you know, it's something that we're always going to do. That is the part of the legacy. But, you know, I think we're so busy doing that we're not able to really celebrate because I think you celebrate. It's like, I believe in short celebrations. Like, it's like Michael Jordan when he was trying to win the championships. He's trying to win six, not one. He's trying to win as many as he possibly can. So it, it's short celebrations because, you know, next year we play again. Right, but you got you to stop and smell the roses just a bit, Marlon. Not no? yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll smell them when, I, when I'm dead. They'll be closer to my face. All right, sneaker head, rapid fire questions. You ready? Go. First pair of Jordans. Uh, first pair of Jordans I ever had was the Jordan 3's black and cement I stole off Damon. Whoa. Pair of shoes you can't live without. My... Uh, Jordan 1's off-white uh, collabs uh, Chicago's. How many pairs still in the box? All of them. What? 1,500 and counting. High tops or low? High tops all day. Wait, depends on what I'm wearing. Right. Uh, depends on what well, I'm wearing. Well, this suit, you look like a billion dollars, so yeah, you gotta have I a low top. Yeah, high top, yeah. <laughs> no. Crocs or flip-flops? Definitely not Crocs. <laughs> We don't, Same, we, we right? Don't do We're not busy with Crocs. Crocs are for nurses. There you go. And I don't do flip flops because I don't like my feet. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really mess with <laughs> flip flops either. So, yeah, I, I, I'll do flip flops over Crocs, though. Flip flops over Crocs. We'll yeah. take it. I'm a man. Marlon, yes. this movie is a, a really black history. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Come to life. Yeah, and I'm is. glad you're a part of it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. I believe in your son. I believe he's the future. And his story is going to make us want to fly. But 
A shoe is just a shoe. Until my son steps into it. 